All right, Nicole, thank you. Our team coverage of the cold continues after back to back winter storms. We are expecting cold over the next few days. And with those cold temperatures, there are many things you need to keep in mind, especially before you send the kids off to the bus stop. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live at a Hartford bus yard this morning with some warnings parents need to watch for. Hi, Carolina. Absolutely. Well, it is cold and that cold will be turning any snow that's left over from this winter storm wane, such as the one we have right here. It's going to be rock solid by this morning. Also, kids heading to the bus stop, be careful when you're walking out there because any snow that attempted to melt yesterday, well, it's going to be frozen over by this morning. If you're still cleaning up from winter storm Zena and winter storm Wayne, don't overdo it. The cold weather moving in will put an extra strain on your heart. Your body is already working hard to stay warm, and since this cold will stick around for a few days, be sure you know the signs of hypothermia and frostbite. In adults, hypothermia comes as shivering, exhaustion, and slurred speech. In babies, signs include bright red, cold skin, and very low energy. If a person's body temperature is below 95 degrees Fahrenheit, seek medical attention immediately. Frostbite shows up as loss of feeling, typically in the nose, ears, fingers, and toes. Bundling up and minimizing your time outdoors are the best ways to reduce your risk of cold related injuries. Be sure you layer up this morning, include that hat, the scarf, the gloves or mittens to make sure that you stay warm. Coming up in our next half hour, I'll have more tips that you should keep in mind during this chill. For now reporting in Hartford, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.